Coming live from the command center of the JW Solar USA in Minnesota. This is the setup um, already configured here, and um, I'm trying. I'm gonna try to do this really quick. And the way you you already seen the arrangements, and this is how we're gonna go about it. So on your left, you're gonna see is the art back. FX 3048 MT this is the mobile version. So it's uh 30 uh, 3 kilowatts 48 volt. And these are the specs for some of you guys that are really curious about all this stuff, the numbers, which are really good for programming and all you know what you're doing and what are all the requirement. And here we have um, a ground log and both positive negative and we have our covers to protect our wires you know DC wires and the way I set it up here this is how it's gonna look like and on your right you can see is a midnight classic 200 Oh, sorry. Let me say it's a Midnight Classic 150. There you go. It has the Agfault AF. Agfault protection. Mounted on a... Um, like a plexiglass, but it's a really, really um, thick. Heavy duty. And here I have a heavy duty shunt. Uh, sorry, bus bar. For you guys who are really curious, you see the mark right here, the check mark. That's what I have. It's a four times eight m, eight m terminals. And here, here is a blue seal, forty eight volt. I don't know if you can read it. Bring it closer. It's a forty eight volt, and it was like up to five hundred amps peak. The same here, negative, and I have a shunt. And the shunt is a 500 amp shunt. I think it's going to be on the other side here. And 50 millivolt on the other side. There you go. So you connect the battery negative on this one here. And this is where you pull the power. It's a 50 millivolt. So from that thing, you can detect everything. So we have a... Um, uh, midnight Whist Bank Junior. This is the uh, monitoring system, just like when you have any um, uh, monitoring uh, monitoring system for your batteries. You can set all the specifications. It tells you the state of charge. It tells you the remaining power balance of power, remaining balance, and um, and it's going to tell you the last time you went full or your batteries never went full. And you can connect this to your computer. You know, it's made by this company here. Midnight Solar or Midnight Classic. This is the Classic 150. So here goes where you connect the shunt. See that on the aux, okay? On auxiliary, yeah, right here, and this port right here. This is where you connect your USB to um, communicate with your, um, like you want to do a firmware update, so. You have the communication port, like an Ethernet port here. You see like a telephone thing right here. This is for the battery temperature sensor. See that? And here is the Ethernet port for your network. And this RJ12, think so, is like a telephone wire. It goes to this... Um, the BM battery um, midnight solar uh, display panel, the BMK, but 
right there and you can able to do some of these sports you can do the follow me mode you can have this inverter um, charge controllers connected into different like you have a stack of them you can stack it so you can put like the master and you get the other ones like able to do the follow me mode you can just interconnect them daisy chain them so this one doesn't have the fins the outback like uh, the vented this is not the vented one this is the seal it's built for harsh areas or very corrosive areas salty and dusty and um he works really well so guys this wristband junior it attached to the side of the shunt the battery is going to be facing the proper wire to here it's supposed to face that way to the battery side and um this is the uh you're gonna use the aux 2 for you to connect to um so they can be able to see the wrist bank junior is supposed to be live and how you can tell you the state of charge uh, every information that you can program your battery on this side you can do updates on this um the uh this cover right here through the firmware okay and everything and the program updates this guy as well so this is what i have for you guys i hope um kind of make sense to you guys it's just a quick video and i'm sitting home i'm bored i gotta do this i got some equipment laid around I want to make sure I utilize them and put them into use. So, um, some people say, but wait, JW Solar, why are you building something like this? Well, the solar industry or whatever batteries, lithium batteries already make us become lazy. And everything, there's nothing more to talk about anymore. Everything is done for you simultaneously. And they just work. You see, and nothing to do. These are the tools I use if you're curious about it. And, um, you know, to do everything I did, you know, you need a pencil to mark. Everything is already um, lifted. You can see I have bushings. I always do this. I've never install something without suspending it so they can have that create that vacuum right there the space so that you can able to the machines can able to breathe really good so this is not actually the cover for it because it's supposed to have a fan underneath there okay the fan is supposed to be here which is the turbo fan which goes onto the ox on this guy right here this is where you connect the uh, the mate, mate three, mate two, mate three S to do the programming. And yet you see, as you see, as you have seen now, you see the art in and out and all the way neutral ground. So you can do a lot of things into this guy right here. So, and I can take you from the back here to see. And even this um, Midnight Solar Classic, it has a turbo fan here. After a while, it kicks in. It's going to run really loud for just a short time, extracting all these MOSFETs that are here and cool down the system. It's a die cast, like aluminum. That's how all these things are made of. Even this um, Classic and the Outback. So the fan underneath this guy cover is blowing the power right onto this uh, die cast metal. Blow it really hard, fast. It takes a short time to cool off this entire cabinet, but they are inbuilt fans inside, but, but there's no vent. You have no vent, so it just blew, the air, blew the, uh, the air so hard and get everything cooled off. So this is the setup. And this is what we're going to be working on. And this is how it's going to look like. Stay tuned. 
like and subscribe here in Minnesota, JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a wonderful day. Cheers.